This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 12, Loops and Simulations, Puzzle 5. So right now we have a working app. It's counting the number of times heads is uh, flipped with a coin. It's 10 times. If you don't have this stuff, you need to go back to do and do 3 and 4. If you're stuck, watch my other videos. All right. Changing the loop condition. And this thing is the condition. Currently, our loop condition is based on a counter variable that keeps track of the total number of flips. But our simulation should only run while we have fewer than the targeted number of heads. Oh, okay. In this exercise, we are going to change the condition used by your wall loop so that the simulation terminates once you have flipped uh, fi flipped five total heads. So this is going to need to use the negation operator. At the end of the loop, wall, and that just meets the exploration point thing that flips things meaning. At the end of the loop, wall, we will write the total number of flips to know how many flips it took. Do this. Change the looping condition so that you use the variable you are using to keep track of the number of heads. Your loop should run as long as you have fewer than five heads. Oh, okay. Nope. We're not using negation. So as long as I have fewer than five, well, mine's called heads count. And as long as I have fewer than five, then it should run. Once the fifth head. Yep. Okay. Let's see. But, uh, Ooh, that one took a while. It's going off the screen a lot, but we don't have a scroll option. It seems like it is working. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, we need to write the total. Okay, okay, got it. We want the total flips like they asked. Total flips, I guess. Sure. Space and then plus our variable, which my variable is the count. That's what's counting the number of flips. Let's see. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. So this is the code that's working for me. Great, let's uh, keep going.